everyone. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today where we're going to make some face powder using just simple ingredients that you have probably already on hand in your kitchen cabinets. Some of the ingredients we're going to be using are cocoa powder, beetroot powder, arrowroot powder, and from my stash of facial products, we'll be using some bentonite clay. You don't need much for this, uh, for this recipe. It's just a big bowl and a spoon to mix with. And then of course, an airtight container that you can use to put your powder in when you're done. And then a really lovely brush to put it on when you're done. What you're gonna start with is a base of arrowroot powder. And I have here, it's just a fourth of a cup. And I'm gonna put it into my bowl. I know you can't see it, but that's okay. So it's just the arrowroot that I'm putting in first. And so again, fourth of a cup, put that in. And then you're gonna to wanna to mix in your cocoa powder. So everyone's gonna need a different level of cocoa powder depending on your complexion. I, of course, I'm very pale, so I don't need a ton, but I do need some. And this is about two tablespoons, which is what I would say to start with. And then if you feel like you need more depth to the tone, you can add more by the teaspoon amount. So I'm gonna pour that in. Oh yeah, oh, it already smells really good. Put that in, there we go. That's what it looks like right now. We're just gonna mix this up. I'm gonna make a mess. Stirring until the arrowroot and the chocolate combine. You'll know when they're combined because you won't be able to see any more streaks of white from the arrowroot. Right. Hmm, balancing everywhere. I'm not usually this messy. <laughs> okay, there we go. Ooh. It's really got a great feel to it. It's already gonna be one that if you put it on your face, it, it would already stay. Okay, now here's the fun part. In the winter, I don't tend to put the clay in, but I'm gonna put the clay in anyways because I'm going to be preparing this for spring. So I'm gonna put the clay in, and I have here one teaspoon of clay, and I don't think that that's gonna change for anyone. If you don't wanna use the bentonite clay, clay, you can use a more, like a warmer tone clay, like one of those desert redder clays. Okay, and just mix that up until it's all combined. The last ingredient I'm going to add is my beetroot powder. So beetroot is a fun one to add, especially if you have red tones like I do um, in your skin complexion. You wanna add it kind of a little bit at a time. So you don't wanna just pour a whole bunch in there because then it's gonna look really red and you're gonna look, well, red. <laughs> so I would say, it's only, I'm just pinching this here, but on here I have one teaspoon. And I'm just gonna kind of pinch from that one teaspoon. And we're just gonna add that in. But I say it's usually up to one teaspoon you want in there. Oh, that looks good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. So I'm gonna show you. Just a little bit more. It's so pretty too. It's got it here. Now I'm just gonna try, all this is gonna do, you're not gonna see, you'll know it if it's too much because it'll, it'll turn very, very pinky red. But it's gonna be very subtle. That's it. There we go, we've made face powder. Isn't that ridiculously easy? So this is what I would use as a finisher for makeup so that it's something that you put on last, kind of a duster to keep everything in place, but it's got some nice color to it. I'm gonna make this into a compact it's really easy. All you need to do is add about one teaspoon of vitamin E oil and stir it up. If it gets really too wet, you can add a little bit more arrowroot until it gets kind of that, that chunky, cakey type feeling. And then you just want a container that you can press it into and let it dry for about 24 to 48 hours. And then you'll have a compact, which is also pretty cool. Once your powder is all mixed up, all you need to do is put it into an airtight container and keep it. I usually, mine keeps for about six months and I use it, you know, three to four times a week. Do now is put it into your airtight container and then we're almost done. Okay, once you're all done, all you have to do is just dip your brush in there, tap it off, 
just tap it off and then just apply. you make all natural and from scratch DIY face powder using just kitchen ingredients you have on hand. And I can't wait to see you here back at the farmhouse where I will help you grow, nourish, and create the life that you want. Until next time.